Apparently this game is so scary they need a disclaimer at the beginning for all the wimpies. Awesome. So I've mentioned it many times before. One of my ga older games where I started playing it and, uh, you know, ended up not finishing playing it. So I just want to go ahead and, uh, finish this, I guess. Resident Evil. Because you can see I was a certain amount into the game, as it was. Uh, I don't remember if it stated, uh, no, it doesn't state the date, you know, when I played this. Uh, but it's been quite a few, many long time years and such. See. But I know I had to get my bearings and such before I start playing this and figure this fucking game out and all that good stuff. Um, I want to go ahead and get on with information about the game, I guess. Um, let's see. Developed by Capcom Production Studio 4, Next Tech Sega. Um, and published, you know, Capcom, Eidos Interactive, Nintendo. Trying to, trying to figure out what's going on in here. I don't even know what I was doing. Uh, this was originally released on the Dreamcast and then re released on the PlayStation 2. Uh, in North America on so August 21st, 2001. So this is kind of ancient. Um, wow, over 10 years ago. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. Released in Japan as Biohazard Code Veronica. Because, uh, you know, Resident Evil is called Biohazard over there. Um... Is the fourth installment in the Capcom's Resident Evil Survival Horror series. Originally released for the Dreamcast in 2000, it is notable for being the first Resident Evil title to debut on a non Sony platform. In contrast to the first three installments, which were originally PlayStation games and then ported to other platforms, an updated version of the game titled, titled Code Veronica X was released for the J Dreamcast in Japan and for the PlayStation 2 Worldwide in 2001. This revision was ported to Nintendo GameCube in 2003. Uh, Code Veronica X includes updated and new cutscenes splicing in the new into the main game, along with mild graphical changes. Am I retarded ass? I fall for a little trap that was happening here, and I'm surprised I didn't die with how much I do suck. And I don't know what else is hitting me. It seems like there's something else hitting me around here. I don't know. And apparently, the, I thought I was gonna die at this point. Um, but also in relation to all the information and such, that this game was also re-released uh, on the newer consoles. I've not heard of this one. Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil The Dark, uh, is a railgun shooter game for the Wii, oh, it's on the Wii, of course I haven't heard of it. Um... Not sure. Oh, that's in the legacy section. I would like to um play the the light gun shooter that was based on this. I went to go ahead and get it at a GameStop. I knew it was at the last time I was in town and in the area. I don't know why we didn't go for it. I forget the exact reason. Like it was something small and insignificant why I didn't go for it. I should have though. Because last time I went out there, I went there specifically for it. They had two copies when I was last there. Neither were there this time. Not even, like, you know, the empty boxes of whatever. So, I'm trying to get my... trying to figure out what the fuck is going on and hitting wrong buttons, buttons and such. Um... Let's see, reception the Dreamcast version of the game garnered many extremely positive reviews. IGN giving it a 9.2 out of 10, GameSpot giving it a 9.5 out of 10, and GamePro giving it a 5.5, 4.5 out of 5. 
the updated release code Veronica X fared well, garnering a 9.0 out of 10 from GameSpot, a 4.5 out of 5 from GamePro. The GameCube version garnered unfavorable reviews due to its unaltered ported status. Xplay gave the GameCube version a 1 out of 5. Ooh, that has to hurt. I was expecting it. He's here? And Game Informers. Oh. Little cutscene here. Of stuff. And apparently. Something is happening. This guy's coming around. Hey, guy. Let me just take him out. Um. Game Out Informers Top 100 Games of All Time is ranked as the 69th best video game. Video Game Review Show Classic Game Room have stated on several occasions, including the original review, that this is their favorite Resident Evil game and therefore the best. I don't even know who that was, but okay. Maybe it was something on G4 Tech TV or something, I don't know. Unless it's like, I don't know. In 2011, Game Informer gave the HD re-release an 8.5 out of 10 and a, and a silver award writing, I love this sense of accomplishment that comes from completing a challenging classic survival horror game. Resident Evil Code Veronica X HD rewards players armed with patience, resourcefulness, and plenty of ink ribbons with a harrowing but memorable trek through the series heyday. It also praised the HD's vividly gory detail. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica has sold nearly 3 million copies worldwide. This includes the 1.14 million copies sold for the Dreamcast and the 1.4 million sold for the PlayStation 2. Well, that's, uh, that's cool. I'm not going to get into the rest of the information and such. You know, I'm just, at, at this point, I am, um... Not really sure what I'm doing. At all. Like, I was just running at this blind. But I always get stuck at the puzzles. Always stuck at the motherfucking puzzle. Uh. Like, really, I'm. Cause I'm an idiot, so I mean, I don't, I mean, uh, it's expected though, it happens and shit. Hey, let's get this thing out of here, so. Anyway, I played the shit out of this kind of back in the day. It's been a long time since I last played this. I forgot what, why I didn't finish it. Um, cause I'm damn near, near the ending, I think this is Antarctica. Pretty sure it is, and you know it's the last area of the game, if I recall. Um, and I really, there's really not a whole lot else I got to do to finish the game. Uh, so for like right now, I picked it up specifically just to play this, with the only intention of um, you know playing until I die. Let's see. Can I get to- Oh, no, and he appears right in front of me like an asshole. Just die, damn, motherfucker. Took long enough to be kill that motherfucker. That's not cool. Yeah, actually, I was cheating when I le left off on this. Um... Because I suck. I think I, I- I- When it comes to the Resident Evil game, I always play until I get stuck. And I got stuck. So, you know, the cheats I was using back then was like, you know, what the fuck is happening here? Okay, apparently something was happening when I entered in there, and I don't know what it was, but I'm glad to uh, be rid of it already.